friends, it's Angel, and today I have for you a Wyoming thrift haul. So, I just got back from vacation, uh, from Wyoming, as one does. <laughs> Kinda random, I know, but it is so gorgeous there. The scenery, uh, I'm from the south. I live in the south, so we do not get <laughs> mountains. And we especially don't get all the amazing crazy fossils. There is so much dinosaur stuff there, and if you know me, I'm like obsessed with dinos, and so I was just in a dino heaven. But of course, since I was on vacation, I went thrifting, and I was also in thrift heaven. The prices, the selection, it was just too good. I almost went twice. I wish I did. I did find about 20 items that I am going to list on my online shop. Uh, I'm on Depop, Poshmark, Macari, eBay, and now whatnot. Haven't done a live show on there yet, but I moved all my listings over. I wanna try that though. I wanna try a live show, that'll be fun. It's just a little bit scary, but I will let you know if I do end up doing one. We'll see. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is amazing Wyoming finds. Let me show you the bags. Now, they are quite beat up because they have traveled several hours. Oh, so as you can probably see, I have some, even some shoes to show you. I never thrift shoes, but I found some amazing ones, some bags, dresses. The selection was very different from my usual stuff. So I'm very excited to show you all the amazing thrift finds from Wyoming. Real quick, I just wanna acknowledge before I get into this haul, uh, I disappeared for like two months. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll probably do a vlog in the future and kind of get into why I took a hiatus for a bit. But the main thing was I just needed to focus on my business, get on top of that a little better. I was spending just way too much time on YouTube. It is something that's very uh, time expensive but yeah let's go ahead and get into this haul before i start in the wyoming things i do want to show you a few things i've thrifted sort of recently uh it's just stuff really i haven't got around to listing yet but i want to show you so the first thing i wanted to show are they got very hairy i have you know kitty cat toby uh insert picture here uh very hairy boy likes to shit on things so i need to lint roller these but I picked up these boots. I've started looking in the shoe section because I feel like I'm ignoring things, both for my own closet and things that I could be listing. I can decide if I want to keep these for myself because they're very cute platform, fur trim beaded. I feel like the the beading makes it kind of fairy. Uh, I was looking for boots. I found a pair. I've lost them. How do you lose a pair of boots? <laughs> I wore them in Wyoming like every day. And now I can't find them. But what inspired me to look for boots was I was walking into a Goodwill. I look over and there's this girl checking out. She was wearing maxi skirt, cowgirl boots. Oh, oh, it's just so good. It, she ate and she left no crumbs. <laughs> but that inspired me. I'm like, I need cowgirl boots. I gotta have cowgirl boots to wear in my maxi skirts. Couldn't find any, which I live somewhere where you should find them. You should find a lot. Like I said, where in the south? Where are all the boots at? <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't find any. Um, but I did find some really cute boots. Like I said, I found these. I found my combat boots. And they do look really cute. Now I'm starting to like go, should I be dressing more western? Should I have a little cowboy influence sprinkled into my closet? I don't know. I've been watching a lot of Yellowstone, if you can't tell. So now I'm like... What would a cowboy do? <laughs> so next item, we have this very, it's already on a hanger because I was gonna take pictures of it, but I was like, wait, no. I think I wanna film tomorrow. Super fairy core little cami, but it's just a super cute cami, uh, sheer mesh, floral, lacy. It's by Rue 21 and it's a small. I've been finding quite a few like really nice uh, Rue 21 pieces, which you'd think like, you know, that's just kind of, ooh, smudgy. Fast fashion-y, you wouldn't really want to pick it up. Style-based pieces can be really worth it, at least in my opinion, especially if you're selling on Depop. I'm still picking up a lot of fairy core pieces. You'll see. 
you'll see as we go on. <laughs> Next we have another brand which a lot of uh, people would tell you to ignore, but no boundaries. Vintage no boundaries can do really well. So if you see any tags that look like this, this is the vintage no boundaries. And it's just this really pretty red ties in the back, has a little butterfly. Like the last piece, very fairy core. I have definitely sold <laughs> the vintage no boundaries in the past when I was a baby reseller. Uh, and I definitely underpriced it. It probably just came from my mom's closet because she gave me a lot of stuff to start out with. I'll insert it here if I can find the piece I'm talking about, but they can be really cute. Next, yet another fairy piece. Uh, it's this top by Pretty Angel. It has the pretty, I think it's called like a pixie hem lace. It has little sparklies, ruffly, a tiny bit ugly, but in that kind of cute way, at least in my opinion. Um, but I really like this brand, Pretty Angel. Everything I picked up by them has been so cute. This one does have a lot of like little loose threads, which I think I can go through and trim a lot of it, go through with my fabric shaver and give it a little bit of love just to help it. Next, this piece is actually for me. Uh, it's by the brand Solitaire. It's a medium, but it's this hoodie that puffs out at the bottom roughly. I thought it was very cute, fairy. And I actually got this one half off. I've been eyeballing it for a while and I, I kept not picking it up and then finally it was half off and I was like, you know what, I think I need it. Which I find at my local Goodwills, I find a lot of the really cute pieces like this, very fairy things, half off. I think it's just not a popular style here and people are just getting rid of them and, and not thrifting them. So it works out good for me. Now our final item that I thrifted locally. It's just this really cute little bead purse. Again, very fairy. It's not branded, but it's just this very cute, it feels vintage, little clutchy purse. I thought I broke it because <laughs> these are actually detachable and I didn't know that. It just kind of slid off and I was like, no, I did not just break it. Um, it's got a few loose threads which need trimming, but I don't mind doing that. I am kind of keeping an eye out for more bags like this. I sold a red one. A uh, beaded cute Y2K bag. Those seems to do well. That one went for 25. I listed it for 25 and it went for 25. But that is it for the stuff I thrifted locally. Now let's finally get into the Wyoming finds. So in terms of accessories, at first I have jewelry, which I'm already wearing. I should have planned this better probably. But there is a ton of jewelry, which my Goodwill does not have. I'm pretty sure they're selling it all online in big old bags, which is very annoying because I used to buy a lot of my jewelry from there. They have a great, you know, cute vintage earrings and that, but now you can't get it here. I kind of have been leaning towards more silvery jewelry because that's, I mean, the color of my ring. Same with this little heart necklace. The charm on this feels very, it's definitely plastic. <laughs> But it's very cute, just a little heart. And But the chain feels really nice, so I wonder if that's actually sterling silver or something. And then also, I really am loving charm bracelets lately. I don't know what it is. I mean, they are cute, jingle jangly. But this one I thought was very fairy. It's got little leaves, little feathers. It's just really cute. And, and I feel like the green makes it quite fairy. Next, let's get into the shoes, which so let me first explain how this goodwill works because it is completely different to mine how mine work is they have the colored tags once it's been on the floor for about a month then it goes 50 percent that next week they pull it i think that's how a lot of goodwills were but this one was completely different there were no color tags everything was just crazy reasonably priced but i really loved that there were no tags on things because you know, they just have the prices posted, easy for you to find. And then there's no risk of, you know, a beautiful like silk shirt getting a pinhole in it, you know, because it wasn't tagged right. So the shoe prices were all flat. Where I live, they are not. They're all marked individually and the prices are uh, kind of high. Like those boots I just picked up were, were 10, just brown combat boots, which Admittedly, they are falling apart. I should have checked them better before I bought them. 
Um, that's just an example though. The prices are crazy. You're probably not paying less than $8 for a pair of shoes where I live. But here they were all less than half of that. So honestly, I picked up some shoes even though the comps weren't amazing. Just because the cost of goods are just like nothing. So first I picked up these pink is that kind of snake skin little kitten heels i really like these style of shoes these pointy little kitten heels they're very i, I don't know if they were popular in the 90s or the early 2000s i mean it does kind of blend in but they're just so cute i love the little bows and the color of course they kind of match my nails <laughs> um the brand is michelle d and they're size sevens which Slightly too big for me, which sucks. I kind of just picked up the ones that I would want for me, regardless of size. Honestly, that's kind of how my whole business works, is I pick up things that are very cute I'd wear, not my size. <laughs> then we have a green pair, which fairy, tell me a fairy would not wear these shoes. The little floral details, pointy green. Yeah, these are fairy shoes, if not maybe like an elf kind of elven again little kitten heels pointy the brand is Anne Klein and they're a size 9 which definitely won't fit me I'm a size 6 I did check these two for dry rot definitely check your thrifted shoes for dry rot um, I was just kind of slapping them on the cart to make sure they didn't explode I have had dry rot <laughs> get me we went on a trip me and my fiance we were in the hotel going down the elevator and my, I just lifted my shoe to get off of it and the sole stayed on the bottom. It was this pair. They were kid shoes and I paid adult prices only for me to wear them once on a trip. Don't do that. Don't take your thrifted shoes on trips without <laughs> test driving them. Then our final pair of shoes, we have these little Talbot shoes. Talbots? They're barely too small for me. It makes me so mad. I love little ballet flats and again, fairy elven, maybe even a little goblin shoe um, with a tiny weeny little heel, I guess. Uh, but they're five and a half. So I'm a six. I squeezed my foot into it and I felt like the ugly stepsister. But they're just nice little suede kind of feeling shoes. But now let's get into the bags. They were just set in these bins and so you just dig through and I had so much fun doing that. I don't have a bins near me. I've been to one bins and it was terrible. Everything was gross and I had gloves on and was digging through but like there was nothing. Nothing. Um, I'd like to try and go again but like I said there's just not any near me so it would have to be like a whole day trip. So I don't really get to dig at my Goodwills in my area. But this one, yeah, it was like you just dug through. They also had a swimsuits bin right next to it, which I forgot to look at. I'm kicking myself because I really wanted to look at the swimsuits. Uh, because I am going to the gym now. Ooh. Who is she? Going to the gym. Ooh. My Stanley Cup. No, this isn't a Stanley. It's a knockoff. I, I know. I know. It's a trend. I just needed a water bottle, okay? <laughs> My old one was made of metal and it tasted yucky and I hated it, but this one's nice. It's the brand Arctic. It's just from Walmart. Um, especially because I was traveling, my fiance was like, look, it's going to be so much easier if you just have a cup you can fill up, you know, at the gas station. And he's right. And it's nice. Oh, I drink so much water now. I go to the gym and I drink so much water. <laughs> Such a tangent. All of that to say, I want more swimsuits because I do have a lap pool and I like swimming laps but is this a bit inconvenient right now because I only have like one swimsuit that I feel good about swimming laps in that aren't like you know I don't want to swim laps in a bikini I want like a one piece that's just like athletic-y okay okay original point original point I didn't look in the swimsuits I looked in the purses bin and I found really cute purses my goodwill you're not gonna find a cute purse for less than like six dollars at least is what you're paying these were not $6, so I, I kind of went crazy picking up any that I thought were really cute. First is this patchwork bag. Oh, it's so cute. I, I wouldn't, like, you know, put purple and green together, but it's such a cute combo. And I did look up this brand on Poshmark, and this lady's selling a brown and pink one. I'm like, oh, no, that's perfect. So maybe I might even list this one. 
and then buy <laughs> that one that I really want. I just really love patchwork too. I I don't know what it is. I, it, it's just cute, quilty kind of. And this one has tons of great little um, dividers, which is very handy. I wish I had this to travel with. That would have been so much easier. Then we have this little brown shoulder bag with kind of a swirly, it's not quite paisley, a uh, little pattern. It's adjustable. I really like the shape of this. I really looked out for the shoulder bag because I feel like that's what's kind of cute and trendy. I personally prefer the cross bodies because I'm always getting into stuff. <laughs> so I need that, but it's so cute. Oh, the brand is 31, which I haven't heard of. But again, I just feel like this is kind of like boho, cute little piece. Um, I didn't really look for comps in the store. My phone wasn't working that well, so I didn't have, I think maybe one skirt I was able to look at comps for, but in the store I really couldn't. I had to kind of do it after the fact. But that's just to say for, you know, the things I picked up in Wyoming, they're all really like style-based pickups rather than brand. Next, we have this, another shoulder bag. Look how cute. Is it crocodile or snake skin? I don't really know the difference, to be honest. I need to, I think this one's more crocodile alligator. Uh, but the brand is Liz Claiborne. It's kind of this periwinkle blue, which I thought was interesting. Cause usually I feel like these are just kind of brownish greenish. Then finally last bag, we have this denim little shoulder bag. I really like denim bags. I'm half tempted to keep this because it's really cute. Uh, there was a bag on Poshmark I really wanted to get. It was like a pair of shorts or skirt that was made into a bag. And I really regret not getting it because it's cute. But that is it for accessories. Now it is time to get onto the clothes, which there's a lot squashed in there. I really packed it down because I did not want to haul a bunch of bags. So the first piece I found in the thrift store, it was very handy because the laundry mat was right next to the Goodwill. So we were able to, my fiance was nice enough to do our laundry while I was wandering around for quite a while. But the first thing I found was this cute little vest, which I don't know if other, if my fellow thrifters out there feel the same way, but it feels like you you have to find something and like put it in your cart and then you'll find other stuff. Because at first I wasn't finding anything and I was like, I'll just put something in my cart and then I'll find stuff. So this is what it was, but it was cute. So I ended up keeping it, keeping it, keeping it, um, bringing it home. The brand is Club Classics and I feel like the tag was so cute. That kind of made me buy it. It's acrylic and wool, it's a size medium. I do well with cute little vests like this. Uh, my Goodwill prices all their vests at $7.99, so something has to be like really amazing for me to pick it up. Uh, there, they were a lot cheaper, and so I was fine with picking up a kind of more just cute, simpler piece. Kind of preppy, especially with these buttons. The next item I found, I'm kind of going in order of how I, <laughs> how I found things. I picked up this top from Marona. I had recently sold a pink kind of version of this, but this one's kind of a bluish greenish sequin with little ribbon details. Very cute. Again, I feel like it fits into the fairy core aesthetic. Next, we have this New York and Company top. I feel like it's very Regency core. It has these lace sheer paneling and it's 100% silk. I mean, I feel like it's kind of even a little bit bridgerton y <laughs> which, you know. So in right now, someone commented, he's very kind. They said I look like a modern day Penelope, which I think she's so gorgeous. So that was such a huge compliment, but I feel like it's kind of that bridgerton bluish. Maybe it's kind of lighter. Next, we have a piece from the Dress Barn, which I've been picking up a lot of lately. Uh, some of it, most of it's been sitting, so I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be picking it up. But it's just this ruffly blue top. I just felt it was kind of like what a water fairy would wear. Something I have been doing differently lately is I'm actually hanging things, as you saw. Oh, I haven't been using it. I was going to use it to freaking show you things easier, and I forgot. <laughs> but I've been using hangers 
because some pieces just don't look as good flat laid. I usually do flat lays, but especially with dresses, it's been making uh, listing dresses so much easier using a hanger. I might even go in with some of my old dress listings and redo them on hangers. Next, this one I found in the kids section, which again, it's gonna make my, uh, my camera act up. I'll probably just put in a photo of what it looks like here. It's just a cute Tinkerbell. Uh, Halloween shirt. I recently picked up a Tinkerbell tank top and that went for 30. So I'm kind of keeping an eye out for Tinkerbell stuff. I have definitely been skipping the kids section and I need to be a little better about at least scanning it because I spotted this. Um, I just really like Tinkerbell. I'm trying to pick up Halloween things before Halloween. But here, guess what happens here? More weird Goodwill policies. They hoard all the Halloween stuff and keep it until Halloween and then they price it up because it's Halloween. And so throughout the year, you can't pick up just cute little Halloween vests and stuff. It's only during Halloween and it's this orange tag and it's a whole thing. Yeah, it sucks. But if I come across Halloween, I want to pick it up. So when it's Halloween, I can go, ooh, October, spooktober, Halloween drops. Oh, speaking of Halloween, my mom found something. I, I haven't listed it yet. I'll, I'll grab it real quick. This isn't part of the Wyoming. Just something cool my mom found while we were thrifting. It was out of town, but it wasn't the Wyoming trip. One second. Look at this. Which sweater vintage the brand is Color Cues, and it's a size large. Which sweater? It's so cute. Uh, again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. My mom finds all the best stuff. I could just wait in the car and she would just get all the good things because she knows, she knows what's good. But back to the Wyoming stuff, I have some skirts. So first we have this George Ruffle Tear Paisley Boho skirt. Did I say the brand's George? The brand's George. I love George. I used to find it more and I used to sell a lot of it. Like, uh, I only have one piece that hasn't sold and it's a skirt with this twisted waistband. I think that would sell if I just fixed that, but you know, I need to dig it out and deal with that. But I just thought this would fit into a lot of styles. It's almost kind of Western too. Imagine this with a pair of cowgirl boots. Ooh. <laughs> then I found this skirt. It's kind of, it's got kind of like, uh, I don't know what you call it. I thought it was one of those flounce skirts. I just learned what that's called. I pick up a lot of those because they're just very cute. This one has sequins, but I like the design of it. All the different kind of paisley overlaid graphic details. The brand is In Studio, which I feel like I've sold them before. And it is a petite medium final skirt. We have this long paisley skirt, maxi skirt. Um, by Apple Seeds Medium, and it's reversible. I've never found a reversible skirt at the thrift store, but it's really cool. It's kind of this floral blue on the inside and then paisley purple on the outside. I'll probably list it like this because I think the paisley's a little bit cuter. Again, I couldn't do any research on comps, so I just picked up what I thought was cute and stylish. Now, almost onto the dresses. Real quick, I found this squashed in the bag. I forgot I picked this up. It's just this little sheer scarf. I really love scarves like this. It's by Liz Claiborne. And I don't know, I just think it's really cute. I like the color. I like cream. Um, I actually picked it up because I was awkwardly <laughs> avoiding an employee trying to put stuff away. <laughs> Finally, onto dresses. Now, the only thing confusing about the Wyoming Goodwill is the dresses were priced by length um, according to the signage their price um, I can't even remember what it was it was like short dresses are four dollars long dresses are six maybe and then formal dresses price is marked but none of them had a marked price way so to ask and so it was like mid-length dresses how would that work but what it ended up being was just all the women's tops, bottoms, skirts, everything was just the same price. So I think they're more worried about like jackets and things, which I looked at, I didn't find anything I really liked. Um, I probably skipped over some like really good brands just because where I live, you know, it's not cold. I'm not at all concerned with um, 
jackets because it's slim pickings and then what is there is kind of like just kind of modern Target Walmart brand so I just kind of skip over. So the dresses and the skirts were half of the dresses were with the skirts and then half were on the other side of the uh, the building and there was a ton of them and so here's what I picked up first I picked up this it's by the brand Trixie it has a little bow and it's this ruffly would it help putting it on the hanger I might be able to lift it higher <laughs> uh kind of ruffly hem yeah it's really cute floral um, the reason why I picked this up was because I sold one was kind of the same style in brown and so I've kind of been looking for those types of, of dresses, this cute uh, kind of romantic floral kind of whimsy goth. But our next dress, oh look how stunning, it's by Buyer 2, definitely vintage, little roughly detail. Again I'll put a picture here, it's kind of coming up more vibrant on the 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 camera uh yeah it's really cute sparkly floral fairy dresses i love picking these up but they're so hard to find nowadays i think they're kind of sought after next we have speaking of kind of grunge i feel like this one's a little extra glam because it's sparkly definitely vintage by jody christopher and it's a size large actually it was my first makari sale it was a black slip dress um, which those are very grungy, they fit into the grunge aesthetic, so I've been kind of keeping an eye out. I don't see them often where I live, but I did in Wyoming, and this one's so gorgeous. The only issue with this one is it's so, so sticky. It keeps sticking to itself. Like, not sticky as in it's gross, but it's like sticky as in the fabric is clingy, I guess. Oh, uh, let me just spit everywhere, jeez. <laughs> did you see that? Did the camera catch that? Next, I found a dress new with tags. I have been trying to... If I find something with new with tags, I look it up. Like I recently found this insert picture. I'm having fun inserting pictures on this one. Um, this I've recently learned about the style login look. Oversized, cute hippie pink piece. Yeah, I'm just looking up comps on new with tags things. This one, of course, couldn't look up in store, but I did pick it up solely based on its really adorable style. Again, very fairy. Um, the brand is. Masked Queen. Though with this one, I, I think it's like a little tube dress. Or does it go under the bust like that? I can't tell. Okay, next dress. This one I want to keep. <sighs> I shouldn't keep it, but I want to. But I shouldn't. <laughs> but I want to. <laughs> so this might be my best dress. I still have one more, so I'll leave that up to you to decide. But Holter Floral Sequin. I picked it up because, I mean, it's just so like fairy mermaid. Oh, it's so cute. Let me try it on too cute i really like it if i put like a little cardigan on top i could just wear it thrifting or like going out and shopping right but that's almost it for this thrift haul we just have one more dress which i have to go get because it's big <laughs> the final dress is this adorable i picked it up because the straps are just too cute one of them i think is kind of yeah needs to be re-sewn a little it's this pastel pink floral very coquette formal dress which it's not prom season anymore so it'd be kind of out of season to list it but I mean I'm sure it's just it's just so cute I feel like any formal event you'd want to wear it too small for me of course but I just could not resist I usually don't pick up formal dresses um especially in my area this would have easily been like 20 maybe even more um but I paid like half that here's pick of it for you to see it in all its glory i really need a mannequin again i had one but i got rid of it but that is it for this video the longer i wear this the more i'm like hmm, is my new dress i am keeping it <laughs> but uh thank you so much for watching thank you for sticking around despite me just kind of disappearing i'll try not to do that again i'll try to put out a little memo saying like hi i'm good just taking a break from YouTube. <laughs> Let me know what content you'd like to see from me in the future. I'm definitely wanting to do some more thrift hauls. The thing is, I just don't want to sit on my inventory and that's what was happening when I was doing the thrift hauls in the past. I might just have to move around my days that I'm filming to kind of accommodate that. Definitely want to do more vlogs. I kind of want to go in a more thrifty direction with my channel. I don't know about 
the sh streaming, I might get back to that. It's really my YouTube stuff now is dependent on if I've got everything done for my business. Like today I was able to film because I'm ahead on doing my photos, which I wasn't for a long time. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. It really, really helps out my channel. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.